I always thought my mother had a small life. Like a lot of women who came of age in the late 70s. I had an opinion about how women were supposed to be. And my mom didn't fit that, that image that I'd been grown up to revere. She was eight days past her 16th birthday when she walked down the aisle for the first time. And I was already on my way. And by the time she was almost 19, she had two children under the age of three on her hands. My dad was 23 when they got married. It's quite an age difference. And he was the traditional head of the household. And when she was married to him, she was all about camping and hiking and do-it-yourselfing, wallpapering, baking bread, baking our clothes, having a little garden. And she was all about me and my little brother because my dad was all about the American dream of having a happy little family and a house with a white picket fence. But as we got older, I came to the conclusion that Somewhere along the line, I had ceased to be um, of interest. And it was confusing and I was angry. And as I became more developed in my thinking, and looked at my mother, I thought, who are you? I don't know who you are. What color is a chameleon? A chameleon just kind of takes on the coloring of whatever it's its surroundings are. And when my mother left my father and married someone else, she was all about golf, bed and breakfasts, and glittering black tie affairs and associates instead of friends. She certainly wasn't about us kids anymore. And I thought, who is she, really? She didn't seem to have any use anymore for hiking or camping or any of the things that I thought she was about when I was growing up. And I had a very low opinion of, of this kind of lifestyle. I figured if that broke up, she'd find somebody else and just take on the mantle of whatever that man was about. But my, life, my, mom, my mother's life has become very small now. She has Alzheimer's. And I went down recently and spent six weeks with her, taking care of her during the day while her husband is still at work, watching her go about her, her very small life, which now consists mostly of opening up cupboards and refrigerators and dishwashers and moving things that don't really need to be moved, just to have something to do, because she wants to feel useful. She wants to feel like she's taking care of her husband. And when I watch him with her and her with him, I see that he's really devoted to this woman that I thought was basically just a trophy wife and a stepford wife. And when they're, wa when they're watching TV and she, she cuddles up next to his chair on the floor, she gazes at him as if she's still some love-struck 16-year-old with her first love. She looks at him like that in public. Her entire life revolves around being with him. And what I've come to realize is that who my mother is and who her husband is are two people who have found something that works. They're happy together. And I'm very sad that that togetherness is, is being destroyed by this wicked disease that I feel really blessed to have had the opportunity to understand their relationship in this light. I feel like I've grown up, finally. It's not a life I would choose, but who can argue with success? Not me.